Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweet. Stevie here, Gab with us as well. Uh, the first one is interesting because there seems to have been like a bit of a weird argument on Twitter, arguing things that we weren't actually arguing about regarding USA 13, Thailand nil. Stick with me. Right. When Liverpool beat Crystal Palace 9-0 in 1989, why did Steve Nicol pile on with two goals? How could he shamefully run up the score like that? Your problem isn't with running up the score, is it? No, not at all. Running up... When you keep going, you're actually respecting your opponent. If, if I'm losing a game by that amount and the, the opposition just start taking the mickey and start rolling it around and then the crowd starts shouting hello and all this yeah. part, that's disrespectful. I, you, you, you give it 100%, you score as many as you like. And for me, that's respecting the opposition. Gab, it's interesting you mentioned culture during the show. What I, I, I tweeted about this yesterday, the goal difference and head-to-head -head thing, why do they prefer FIFA goal difference a head-to-head-to-head? -to -head -to -head? Because surely scoring a million goals past Thailand shouldn't be a differential if you can't beat your direct rival. Well, I mean, I think that's under the assumption, I think, that uh, they'll both beat the other two teams in the group and they'll draw with Sweden, and then in that case, the, the, the goal difference somehow will, will matter. And, I mean, to who finishes first in the group, although they'll both advance. And if you want to become world champion, you know, you got to go and, and win games anyway. So I don't know. I think that's a bit of an excuse. I, th I think, look, the main thing is the culture argument. What I do find really interesting is I don't think it's just a culture by, you know, country by country. I mean, Stevie's absolutely right. In England, that's how you respect your opposition. And in Italy, you wouldn't do that unless you have a reason or there's a grudge or whatever. In the U.S., I find it fascinating how in like traditionally American sports, like like baseball or, or football or, or basketball, you you don't do that. You don't run up the score. You kneel down. You don't try to make your your opponents look bad. You don't, you know. And it's not just the the goal difference argument or goal differential, as some people like to call it. Um, you know, there is a sense of that. And but apparently in U.S. soccer, hey, that's fine. Let's go and do that. And that's fine. It's, it's whatever the culture is. I hate goal difference. Let's get rid of it. What's the point of goal difference? Yeah. Me too. There you are. Yeah. Is Lovren worth 25 million, speaking of goal difference? <laughs> yes, he's worth 25 million. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely. Would you keep him this summer? Uh, no. No. You have, you have Gomez, you have Mati. Yeah. Uh, Lovren's been a good servant to Liverpool. You have De Ligt. Well, that would be uh, fantastic if we did get De Ligt, but no, Lovren's been a good servant. You know, just, just because, just because on occasions he's made horrendous mistakes and we've picked him up on it, you doesn't picked him mean up that on I it. don't like the guy. The guy's got a big heart and he's given everything for Liverpool. And he's Steve, played well on occasions. This is very weird. No. He's got I mean, a big heart. Yeah, he gives you everything. He gives you everything. Sometimes to the detriment... you high blood hey, pressure. And by the way, sometimes to the detriment of his performance because he's so eager and so keen to do well that he throws himself into challenges when he shouldn't. Gab, some explaining is needed. Would you... Gab, what would be considered a 1 and what would be considered a 10 on the Gabometer? Just looking for context next time the segment comes up. Hey? <laughs> what do you mean, like, well, a, a 10 is that... So a deal a is about to go through. I and think a 10 is Eden Hazard, is... yes. Yes. And, and a 1 and is a Messi one to is... Miami FC. I think that might be a 2 at some point. Oh, because really? hey, it's oh. Miami and it's Beckham and it's Jorge. Depends on your time horizon there. Uh, last week, finally, Jules gave us his favourite French restaurants in London. So, Gab, what's your favourite Italian restaurants in London? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, uh, there's a whole bunch. Um, I really like San Pietro, just because it's around the corner from me, and uh, they have some wonderful uh, fresh fish and seafood. Ah. Stevie, why are you laughing? Look, his gab will love mine. <laughs> What's yours? It's a place called the North House. It does a fantastic well-done steak. <laughs> 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 you had well-done steak, didn't you, when we were in... Uh... I did, yes. I did Spain, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it, we're done. Uh, ESPN FC is back on your screens uh, tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. What's happening tomorrow? No idea. <laughs>